ninth graders. Today we're going to talk about some of the best test taking tips you can have before you even start taking your test. When you open your test and log in, you will have a couple different texts to read and some questions to answer. My recommendation is that before you start reading the text, you preview your test first. You will have some multiple choice questions to answer, as well as an essay question to write when you finish answering your multiple choice questions. Now, before you read, I would recommend that you page through your questions and see what they're actually asking you to answer before you start reading. That way you know what you're reading for. So question number one here, and you can see that the questions are on different tabs. Question number one says, how does the author of passage one present the idea that there are different perspectives on the topic of returning antiquities? So now you know that you will be answering a question on passage one about the different perspectives of returning the antiquities and then look through your answer options. So this lets you know you're going to do a close reading for this concept in passage one. Number two says, how does paragraph three develop the main idea of passage one? So this lets you know you're going to be taking a close look at paragraph three as you read. Number three says, read the sentence from passage one and you see that this word dispersed is underlined. So my recommendation, when you see these underlined words, this lets you know you're going to have a vocabulary question. So I wouldn't just take a guess here about what disperse means. It's going to tell you that you're going to look at this word in paragraph eight. It's going to tell you to look at paragraph eight in the context of how that word is used in paragraph eight. So take a close look at paragraph eight. Question four is two parts here. Just so you know, these questions mean you have to get both of these parts right to get your full credit. So this says passage two. This question is also about passage two. So this lets you know for these questions, you need to take a close look at passage two. Number five says, how does the phrase immediate pragmatic sense in paragraph 14, um, in paragraph 14 express about the museum's actions? So this lets you know you're going to be taking a close look at this phrase in paragraph 14. Question six. How does paragraph 17 refine the author's idea about laws limiting the trade of artifacts? So again, this lets you know you're going to be doing a close reading of paragraph 17. Number seven is two parts, okay? Um, so again, this is about passage two, and this is a detail about the, how the passage is used as relevant to support for this claim in paragraph 15 and also paragraph 16 and paragraph 19. These are clues that you'll be taking a close look at passage two as well as these paragraphs. Number eight is also a two-part question about uh, passage three. Um, and then question nine is also about passage three. So again, you see these underlined words here. This is a clue that you have a vocab question as it's being used in paragraph 20. So again, don't take a guess because you think you know what this word means. Go to paragraph 20. Do a close reading of paragraph 20 and see how it's being used in the context of that paragraph. Number nine here is also a two-part question about paragraphs 23 and 24 in passage, in passage three. So again, you're going to know that when you read, to take a close look at those paragraphs. So now that you've previewed those passages and these questions, you can take some notes on your scratch paper that you will be provided when you take the test, um, and that will help you gather some notes as you read to help you answer those questions. Now, the last thing you'll want to do before you read your passages is look at your essay question. It says, should cultural artifacts be returned to their regions of origin? So you can tell from the prompt that this is an argumentative prompt that's going to ask you to kind of pick a side. So be thinking of this as you read. It says, construct a multi-paragraph written response in which you make and support a claim about whether cultural artifacts should be returned to their regions of origin. Your response must be based on ideas and information that can be found in the source set. Manage your time carefully so that you can review the sources, plan your response, write a thorough response, and revise and edit your response. Be sure to include a claim, address counterclaims, use evidence from multiple sources, and avoid overly relying on one source. Write your multi-paragraph response in the space provided. So you can tell here that you'll be making an argument about this prompt and that you'll have to use all of the passages in your response. So again, this lets you know what you'll be taking notes on. Also be aware of pacing. You'll have some time limits when you are taking this test. So again, preview your questions before you read. Look at your essay question before you read. And then go back and read and take some notes as you are doing this. Um, 
while you are taking your test. These are some tips to help you do well on the test. Good luck.